Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to my messy desk and welcome back to December Daily. I am trying to put together my December Daily and we still need to bind it. I am not going to sew it because I haven't fixed my sewing machine yet. Um, and I don't want to mess with it right now. I am in my bathrobe. <laughs> it smells so good. It just came out of the dryer. Um, because it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Okay. Um, I want to get, I want to get this done because I want to still do my page today. So if that all fits into one journal, we're going to do it into one journal. Okay. This is the part that, um, is, is always the part I mess up. I mean, I mess up on lots of the parts, but you know, I'm trying to find a strip of paper that I can use that I don't, um, need, you know you know. So this is the part where Brooke says, mark the top. And then I, I think I threw out the strips that um, are plain is why. So I will come down here into my handy dandy trash journal. Um, and lo and behold, not my trash journal, just my trash, but okay. Let's see, I'm gonna make it the length of the book. I'm gonna mark, this is the key. This is learning curve. If you guys wanna go back and watch my evolution of journal making, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, if you're new here, welcome, by the way. This is not how to make a journal. Uh, there are plenty of other people around to do that. Elizabeth over at Never Hopeless has a series on how to, she does hers. Um, Christy Bettelson is the one who posted a very simple pamphlet tip for me when I first learned and I continue to learn. So what I, um, what I would like to do is, um, yeah, so I have the whole width here. I have this, this fold in the middle is literally in the middle and I have this whole amount. So I want to put it, um, you know, somewhere in this space right here. They don't have to be equal or anything for me, but uh, you don't even need a ruler. You can um, kind of fold it in the middle like this and fold it up again like that if you want and like that. That would give you kind of equal, right? And there is where you'd put your holes or where you could. Now I might move mine up a little bit actually I'm wondering, I think I might like that better. I don't know. I do. I think I'd like it. And it, again, it does not um, have to be perfect. So, and then, but I do want one in the middle. I do like one in the middle. Okay. So that's where I'm going to make my holes. And I would however, like it kind of in the middle. Now I am going to cover up this paper. This is not quite thick enough to do it. I don't have my envelopes that I want with my Tyrex paper, whatever you call it. I found just white duct tape. And so I'm going to use that to strengthen this in here like this. And I am okay that it's a little bit wider than um, the seam. That's fine with me or the binding. And we're just going to do that. Of course, the minute I am done with this, I will find the tape that I wanted to put in here or my other stuff. But that's okay. So again, you can see the middle fairly easily still. Okay, now I'll use my strip of paper. Did anybody see what I did with it? Okay, look at top. Mark the top, people. <laughs> That's the one thing I've learned because I've screwed it up. 
more than enough times. Okay, so this is close enough to me that I can see, I'm gonna put something on that line right there is where I'm gonna put it like here and here. That's fine with me. And I'm actually gonna do it on this line as well, just cause that's easy to see. It's close enough and I'm gonna do it on the edge of this line, okay? Um, yeah, okay. This is the part where you guys are gonna shake a little bit because the only way I can get an eyelet in here is to use my old school eyelet hole punch set. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And that involves a little hammer and you guys are attached to my desk, unfortunately, on a on a wire, on a wire arm, on a, you know, camera arm. So this is a very old set I have from Making Memories. I mean, it obviously works. Let's see here. I think, um, I think I want the bigger, Well, I guess I don't need the giant one. I guess this one's fine. I don't know. Let's see here. Okay. Let's try it, shall we? Probably only need to go once. Oops, that one didn't. I actually felt it the first time it didn't go. It works just fine on the first one. Okay. Oh, that one didn't go. Although I didn't. Oh, it still didn't go. Okay. Let's see what we need to do differently there. Clean out my tool that's now full of tape. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, there's that. And then we get to choose eyelets for this, you guys. And as cheesy as it sounds, this is fun. All right, I have this box of eyelets that came with my crocodile. Oops, oops, oops. Wow. That could have been so incredibly bad. Let's see. I have this box. I have um, plenty of eyelets. Let's see. What's it? Is this eyelets? These are Brad's. Okay. So we don't need to get into that. Let's see. I'm assuming we'll just do, oh, look, the snowflake's cute, huh? Um, that's a Brad. What's that doing in here? I think we'll do red. Um, the weird part is the red, I think, are these flowers, but what do I care? I'm not going to use them on anything else, obviously. I've only had this set for like 10 years. Oh, here's a red square. Um, red flower. Red flower. I don't think I'm... Yeah, I do think they're going to need to match. Unless we want to swatch out and do like some green no we're gonna do red we're just gonna do the red and we're gonna do the red yeah oh now the cool thing is i can use this crocodile on oh, get out of there little guy okay on two of these yeah well four of these actually okay so oh and look it's fatter than my hole so i chose the wrong size punch but uh I think it's gonna be just fine I think that's gonna go through 
Oh, it does not fit. It is not deep enough. Okay, well, we'll go back to the old school. I did put the long crocodile, chompadile, chomp, whatever the longer one is that has the long reach arm onto my Christmas list. So hopefully, because apparently I need it, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's cute. All right, so we'll do that. Hold on, because here we go, which means... This little toolkit is cute, but it's not super easy to get. For whatever reason, my hands have a little bit of a hard time getting that stuff out of there. Okay. So sorry, you guys. That's going to be just fine. I am wondering, though, if I want to... I'm wondering if it would be better if it had the bigger hole. So I'm going to try it on one. I'm also wondering if it's too big. I think this is the right size hole. I think I will re... Oh, that didn't even go through. Look at that. All right. All right, that's better. Now let's... Hmm. Yeah, not like, not in love with any of this. This is so, um, this one's not even going through. Why is that? Okay, there it goes. Um, you guys, I used to be doing this. I've, <laughs> I used to do this in the middle of night on our fireplace. That was, I don't even know why, but. Oh, I'm knocking stuff off my desk now. Okay, there we go. Jeez, you guys. Hold on. All right. Let's see if I can. <laughs> and my husband would come out and be like, um, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah. I'm just, you know, hammering stuff onto my scrapbook pages. It's all okay. Let's see here. We can do something like that. And we'll do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's looking cute. It's looking cute. Do that one. Okay. We're almost done with the hammering, I promise. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's cute. All right. I'm glad I took the time to get out the eyelet setter. All right, we're going to do this. And then... I guess this is big enough to punch a hole in my, um, I guess we could try it with this since we have this little tool set out. Who knows? Let's see, shall we? I don't know if this is a big enough eye for me to get the thread through. Um. I feel like I want to just use what I'm used to using. So I'm going to put this little set away and I'm going to use my bookmaking set. Okay, so there's this and then there's a, I wish I had one of those needles. I mean, I don't know, maybe that's as big as they come, the eye of the needle, I guess, but I think there's a bigger one. <laughs> and so, okay. Okay. 
we have to choose our thread. Well, get to choose our thread, right? And I want to show you what I bought. I'm going to put this back in here for right now because I swear it will be gone poof in a second. Okay, look what I found at Goodwill, you guys. Look at all this embroidery thought floss. Is that bananas? It came like this in a packet with a sheet on top and like all these little, little tiny stickers and a whole sheet of directions about how you're supposed to wrap them or do something. I don't even know. I don't know if it was missing pieces or what. I don't know, but I'm like, it was like two bucks. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy that. So then I'll have every color I ever need. So for this little gem, I think um, we'll take some green and some red, right? And I mean, I, I get this isn't what you're supposed to do, but okay. So here's my book. One, two, three is the magic number. Okay, so let's just double check, make sure I have you guys. Um, one, one, two, three. Okay. We could probably just do the green, actually. Look how bad my scissors are. Um, and not have to do anything else. I don't, this is going to be a mess you can see very quickly. Um, if I can't figure out how to do something else with it. But for right now, I'm going to just, you know, fold it up and put it away. All right. I think I'll just do the green on it. Okay. Now we go back to our books. This is book one, signature one. And I want to... I mean, it's just not going to be perfect. I know that because I went a little off on this, but let's just double check. I think we're really close. We'll move this one down just an ooch. Right? We'll move this one to here, and we'll move this one to here. And this one's on. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to... Take the middle of the book. This is the other part I always mess up, but look at me. Learning curve at its finest. Excuse my reach and my face and my hair and whatever else you're seeing. All right, here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna... this out of the way. And I'm going to do something like this. All right. Is that paper not beautiful? <laughs> All right, there's that. I'm going to put this one here. Okay. I would like to do the other one. I'm going to, I'm going to just do this one first. Oh my gosh. I'm such a ding dong. Okay. I only cut one thing of thread. Well, I cut two, but I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do you think this is strong enough to hold it in? I was going to do two. 
you know. I think I want to do two. I don't know. I've never done this with embroidery thread. I always use my other string. Um, maybe one's enough. Maybe I could do one. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. All right, here, we're just going to do this one. Well, you know, welcome to sewing with Allison, okay? Like, here we go. Okay, now I like my tails on the outside. However, Um, I'm still going to leave them on the outside. Okay. I, I, I do want to add something to this book, um, at the top. I was going to try and put my threads at the top, but I'm going to leave them in the middle. Okay. There we go. I'm going to come up the middle and watch the tail. And... Out the top. Now this eyelet is really big. It's going to be loose. It's not holding that thread. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to come all the way down through the bottom. And if you were fancy, you could do all sorts of fun things with this double binding and crisscross them and whatnot. But um, that's just beyond my pay grade. So... Okay, so here we go. Here's this one. I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to go back out the middle and I'm going to split it on either side. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think that's... Okay. And I just, you know, tie it a couple times. Okay. There we go. There's one. Let's do the same thing with the second signature. We'll take our clips off. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute be with the how this is coming out and we'll just have to cut some of these papers a little bit more because they ooch right because they get pushed in the middle so that's fine look at that isn't that glorious middle page now we already counted this like three times in the first video so if it's off now it just means that I have changed it and it's not gonna be where we want it so that's fine We'll fix it later, but it should still be the right day on Christmas is the only page we tried to count. Anything else, I mean, you know, gosh, you could fix anything. There's no, there's nothing you can't fix in a journal, right? All right, here we go. And look at this. Look, you could easily do it like this, but no, I'm not going to do it that way because there's no T at the top. And Brooke taught me, I always put a T at the top. So that's why that goes like that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is paper is hard to see. I am going to mark it and come back and not do this three times. It's like hard to see even where the fold is. Okay, I'm gonna do one here, one here, and one here. Because the potential for me making a mistake um, when I do it three times is three. If I only measure it once, then <laughs> I feel like I'm lessening that. I'm no mathematician, but that's my thought on it. All right. 
Oh, guys, you guys, we got my little Rue. She's so stinking cute. We, um, I got home and she's like, mom, do you have a minute? And I was like, um, yes, let me like, you know, put down my bag. Cause she doesn't really ask me that question like that very often. I was like, oh dear Lord. And then she's like, dad, do you have a minute? And I was like, Ooh, are we having a family meeting? She's like, yeah. And I was like, oh dear Lord. And so, um, <laughs> we get in there and she's like at her computer working on stuff. And that little girl says, I need you to read this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I thought it was going to be like a letter, you know, a response from a coach kind of thing. Cause we, you know, we sometimes go through that. So, um, so I was like, yeah, yeah, let's read it. What's, what's going on. And she punches it. And, um, that little girl got her second acceptance letter today. So awesome. And it's so cool. You punch it and it like the confetti comes out and it plays the fight song. I was like, girl, happy dance in the kitchen. Happy dance in the kitchen. So, so proud of her. So she went out for ice cream with her friend who flew in today again for the weekend. Because she's got to work. So. All right, there's that, there's that, and there's that. We'll put this away. All right, this is exciting. Okay, we'll put the cutting board away. Oops, oops, oops. Knocking over my other lamp. Okay. I already wish I would have used, I think one string's enough. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And these tails are not the same and it does not matter to me. One, two, three. All right. We will do something like that, and um, I will save this <laughs> so it can go on a thing. So you guys, look, those signatures are sewn in. They look like that in the book. They are already, um, this book is going to be fat. It's just going to be fat. So did that turn out right? Let's make sure. Well, not like I'm, well. I was going to say, not like I'm going to redo it, but gosh knows we've done that too, huh, folks? All right. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it already crocodiles. So like um, this one, because it gets so fat, the papers themselves are actually folded. So this one, I'm actually going to add an eyelet here and an eyelet here when I'm done with it and tie it together. I mean, I could even use, you know, some thread. I think I'll use a thicker ribbon, but... I am going to put eyelets on this and close it just because it sits a little bit better when I put them on my shelf if they're kind of gathered as opposed to that. But this this one's looking really good and it has a good, you know, feel to it. It's it's working. Okay, so this one will do the same. Now, this one um, is all cardstock, which is a little bit thicker, but I am loving it. So, um, yay us. Okay. That's going to be the end of um, making my December daily part two. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I am now going to be able to decorate the pages. I don't know if I'm going to go day by day or if I'm going to do like a prep video, if you will. I may just go day by day and put the numbers on as we go. I think I'd like to go ahead and prep the numbers, but we'll see how I do on time. So that's it for me. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you're doing December daily, please let me know below. I'd love to see what you're doing and where you're posting that. If you don't post videos, like where do you post it on Instagram or Facebook? I'd love to check it out. And, um, I still need to find a prompt list. So, um, that's all coming. We'll see what it evolves into. So have a great day. I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.